All right. I'm going to start off by saying Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Ka Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Raka Kwadash. And um, it's probably going to be a little bit long. It's going to be a little bit long because I got a couple of, I actually have a bunch of scriptures lined up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hit them all. Um, like I said, I'm going to just go into Raka Kwadash. And um, I'm going to play a clip from uh, Kevin Samuels. From um, his last, um, I guess, live stream or whatever. It says, uh, are high value men best? Right? It's, I'm going to play a small, I, I really hate playing this, but especially being how he's um, copyright, he likes to flag people and shit. Hopefully the, the video doesn't get stricken, but, you know, I see other people do it all the time, so I'm, I'm going to do the same thing, man. I'm going to put up the, the copyright disclaimer, okay? You see? Uh, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment. I'm commenting, right? News reporting, teaching. I'm, I'm using it as a teaching a teaching um, um, utensil, right? Scholarship and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit educational or personal use tips. The balance and fair in favor of fair use. This video was made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. All right, and I'm not. This is not for profit. Okay, it's for educational purposes. All right, I don't want to write this out. Like I said, it, it'll be edifying. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna play a small portion of this, and um, the main point of this is ambition, ambitious. Right. And this is, um, it's, I'm going to be all over the place, but not really, okay? This is the definition of ambitious, right? And um, I remember that one of the elder brothers, um, I, I believe the elder brother's name is Jacal out there in uh, Cali. He he made a statement about this, to, this too. He did a lesson about this. And um, that's Jake, man. That's the mentality that's been shoved down our throat for, for, since we were kid children, you know, to go out there and to be ambitious, you know, you, you know, you, that's the American dream. You can become, you're free, there's equal rights. You can, you can, you know, you can, if your heart, if you can dream it, you can achieve it, you know. That's, you know, and they, from a young age, they drill that in you um, as a child, man, you know. You know, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up, you know, and, you know, and they keep, Put beating that into your mind, you know, you know. But as the, uh, uh, um, the scripture says, right, there is no new thing under the sun. Because Kevin Kevin Samuels is going to make a statement about since when, you where did all this ambition come from? That's why that's why this came to mind. And what the elder brother you call had, uh, I believe that like that's his name. He, he had said came to mind because you know that they beat that on us. He was like, where where did all this ambition come from? You know, you know, you know, but hey, there's no new thing under the sun. That that's the that's what our downfall was from the beginning. That's what, um, that's what the serpent, right? The serpent beguiled Eve with, you know. Which we're gonna get into all of that. I don't want to write this out. It'd be edifying. It's the same spirit, you know. You know, Jake is never satisfied. Yahweh Yahweh gave us the blueprint. You know, put us in. I done paradise, man. And he just told us, you know, don't eat of the tree, the tree of knowledge, you know, you know, but hey, it is what it is. It, it was, it was, um, it was, it was meant for us to go off, you know, so that we can understand and appreciate righteousness. We had to learn wickedness. But anyway, um, the, the point, like I said, is ambitious. So here's a definition off of Google. It says, and which I'm pretty sure we all know, but you know, f for further edification, ambitious, Having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed. And that's Jake, period. Especially here in America, Babylon the Great. 
you know? They they think this is their rest, as we're going to get into and all that stuff. You know, this is not our rest. I got all them scriptures, scriptures on deck, um, Lord's will, you know, but that's the point. So, um, again, again, you know, I'm going to play a, a, just a small portion, and it's not for profit, okay? You know? So, here we go. Um, Kevin's and uh, this comment also uh, kind of, like, stuck out to me, too, with the word ambitious, you know? Uh, TK, whoever this dude, you know, whatever. I don't think that's the real dude, but anyway... It says, shout out to all the high value, ambitious women, but it's not just the women. Jake is meant the men, that's why you have these athletes, these idols. We idol, you know, these idols. You, you, your goal is to make it here. You're taught that from a young age to succeed. We're free. We's free. We's equal, you know? No, we were brought here in America, chiefly America, Babylon the Great, as a punishment, man. Okay, for disobeying the Heavenly Father, how about Shemi Shai? And we've been disobeying the Lord. This ain't no new thing, but this is our last bid, you see? But anyway, Salakia, our high-value men best. These things are necessary because so many women through, I'm going to say through really no fault of your own, this is what's been pumped to you guys. It's been pumped to you guys that, oh, you can all be rich. You can all, every man out there, is, is, is capable of making $100,000. Hey, how are you doing, Cherie? Good, how are you? All that yellow going on. Looking like a pack of mustard. <laughs> looking, looking, Cherie, looking like a pack of mustard. Where my hot, where my nuggets at? <laughs> Man, let me dip myself. How you doing? How old I'm are you? Good. I'm 36. All right, what do you got for me? So I think um, how high value men are good, but to be a woman that would attract a high value man, you would have to bring something to the table. And I listen to you quite often, uh, kind of just research and been doing a lot of, um, you know, dividing and dabbling into, you know, the masculine man and the high value man and the average man, all those different things or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they are good, but um Well are you uh, do you have any children? I do. I have three. Are you single or are you married? I'm single. Uh do you want a relationship? A a marriage Absolutely. in the future? Absolutely. I've been married before, so okay. yeah. But what kind of man would fit you at this stage in life? Uh, well, a man that um, has vision, that um, can lead finances. Mm -hmm. The thing about it, just listening to you talk with Candace, uh, the 40000 if he's able to manage that well, it, it wouldn't be an issue. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, see, I'm an uh, ambitious woman. So You heard that? But you can't even really fault her. She's an ambitious woman, you see. But the men are ambitious, too. You know, that's the whole, anyway, anyway, Salak, you know, let me let her, let, let me, I'll, I'll handle it when it's, she's done, Salak, yeah. I'm going to make sure that whatever he can do, I can. No. No? No, 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 no. See, what you were saying was making men's erections dip. When men hear women say a man with vision, what that means is, I want him to be, I want him to make more. When vision, well, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me I'm, I'm a tra I'm, but let me translate it into man. Okay. Vision okay. means I can see, means you get a man that ain't blind, which used to be a good thing because used to be we didn't, oh, we had infirmities. But a vision, why does everyone have to have vision and be ambitious? Why, why, why are people who came from chattel slavery who are 50 to 70 years into full citizenry and being able to vote, all wanting mansions and businesses and visions, that came around in my generation where everybody wanted to be a boss. That's the point. I, I don't want to play too much of it. You can go watch the whole video watch for yourself. But that's the point. That's the point. And that, that's really, um, that's like, uh, let, me, let me start here. Um, Ecclesiasticus, Salakia, Salakia, Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, uh, straight to the point, verse 9, right? The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And this also shows you that reincarnation is biblical. And, you know, we've all been here before, okay? Multiple times, okay? 
And we at the end of this thing, not not the end of the world. Well, the end of a world, the end of a particular age, an empire, rulership, eon. Okay, a wicked society led by Esau, Edom. But um, anyway, like I said, we, we at the end of, of this particular um, age, you know, you know. And then what? The, uh, uh, the kingdom, the kingdom comes afterward, you know. Righteousness on earth forever, you know, led by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and by default we're joint ears. Yasharala, okay? Okay. So um like I said, we at the end day. We're not in the beginning of time, we're not in the middle, we're at the end. Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, we're waiting on the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay. You know, so anyway, it says the thing that have been Verse 9, the thing that have been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. This is the main point. And there is no new thing under the sun. All right? It says, uh, verse 10, is there anything whereof it may said, see, this is new? It have been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. That's, that shows you reincarnation. That's why we don't remember. When we go in the spirit world, it's given back to us. But when we come down here on judgment, on earth, Slocky, where, where, where judgment plays out, the Lord takes it from us. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the Rakah Kodash, we're being brought back to remembrance. Okay? Because the spirit of what? The prophets are subject to the prophets. You know? You know? You know? So anyway, that's the point. There's no new thing under the sun. So th this whole ambitious thing... That that really goes back to the garden, man. You know, which is the if you could receive it, if you could receive it, okay. This is Revelation, um, uh, twenty, and uh, the main point is in two, all right. And I saw an angel come down from the heaven, having a key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, right. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. Which is the devil, that old serpent, which is going, referencing back to the garden. Okay, that old, the same spirit that was on um, the serpent in the garden, which was a man. Okay, you see, it wasn't a fucking actual a snake; it was a man. Okay, you know, that same spirit was in was, the same spirit that was in Cain. You know, which killed his brother Abel. Okay, which came back as Esau, which you know his descendants are the Edomites. Okay, you see the wicked. Okay, per Malachi, the board of wickedness, the people against who the Lord, um, who have indignate, who the Lord has indignation against forever, the people of the Lord's curse, right? That's the same spirit, okay? And in this, the bottomless pit is talking about um, Europe. The elders always go into that, all right? So it's um, Esau, Edom, this is synonymous for Esau, Edom, right? Um, the Roman Empire, okay? Because remember, the, the Roman Empire fell. Then, you, then the, during the Dark Ages, the so-called the Middle Ages, okay, Jake was ruling. The, for example, the Moors, okay, you know, Jake was ruling all throughout Europe. You know, had Esau in subjection, okay, and then what? Well, I mean, let me read it. It says, and he laid hold on the dragon, and that old serpent, okay, like I said, which if you could receive it, it's the same spirit that, like I said, that was back then in the garden, the old serpent, which I'm going to get. Which is the devil, okay, all right? And devil just means deceiver, okay? And Satan, and bound him a thousand years, okay? And that's when Esau was, um, it, um, like I said, during the Middle Ages when, when Jake was ruling and Esau was in subjection. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut, and like I said, that, the elders always go into that. That's Europe, okay? Because what? Um, it, the the, the um, lack of resources, okay? You know? You see? You see, it says, and he cast in him. That's why um, they had to uh, get spices and from 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 you know from the Americas and so on and so forth because Europe was barren. It was a bottomless pit. It lacked resources. You see, you see, and he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be f fulfilled, and after he must be loosed a little season. And we're in that little season, okay. You know, the rebirth of the Roman Empire, which is what NATO and the EU, right? You see? And it's being led by America, that whore. Okay? Babylon the Great. You see? You see? So, anyway, 
going back, like I said, no new thing of the no no new thing under the sun, right? So like go go to, let's go to Genesis. Uh Genesis chapter three, verse one. Now the serpent was more subtile, right? You know, he's slick, you know, you know, than any beast. That was Esau, he was a cunning hunter, right? You know? Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh hath made. And it says, and he said unto the woman, it says, uh, Yea, have, yea, have Yahweh said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Okay, and that, that tree meant um, the philosophies, you know, the ways of, of these other heathen nations. Okay, you see? You see? Because what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai put this spirit in Adam. Well, Yahweh, Yahweh put his spirit in Adam because Adam is Yahweh Shai. Okay? You see? If you could receive it. Anyway, um, it says, uh, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Okay? Which is what the knowledge that what I done we was in paradise. The law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us. Okay? The ways that the Lord gave us. That's the way we're going to walk. That's how we're going to operate. You see? If you could receive it. But of the fruit of the tree which is the, in, in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it. The other ways, okay? You know? You know? The philosophies of, of the heathens, okay? Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die, which he lied, okay? You know, he was a, he was, you know, he's a murderer and a liar, okay? From the beginning, the same spirit. The same spirit that was on the serpent, the same spirit that was on uh, Cain, you know, that later slew his brother Abel, okay? You see? And then um, Abel was represented with the righteous, the just, Yasharala, you know? Jacob, you know? And the same thing with Esau, you see? The same spirit. The same spirit, because what, after, when Esau lost the birthright, what, he wanted to kill his brother Jacob. And he st to, to this day, he pursued, uh, he has a perpetual hatred against his brother Jacob. And he did pursue him with the sword, you know. But Jacob is what? The lot of Yahweh Shai's eye, the apple of his eye. You see? You see? You see? In order to learn righteousness, we had to learn wickedness to appreciate it. You see? You see? So it says, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. The, the ways, the philosophies. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, which he lied. He lied. Okay, how do we know he lied? How do we know he lied? Because of Proverbs. Proverbs 21 and 16. Plus Moses said it, told us, right? This day choose life or death. Okay? He, he laid out the blessings and the curse. If we were disobedient, the, the curses were going to overtake us. You see? You see? So it says, uh, Proverbs 21 and 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, the counsel of the Lord, the ways of the, you know, the ways of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, his ways, his law, statutes, and commandments, okay, you see, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, the light, because that's the light, okay, the truth, you know, the proper way of doing things, you see, it says, remain, it says, shall remain in the congregation of the dead, you see, because what? The wages of sin are de is death. The wages of sin is death. And what sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Because you sin, you die. You see? Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, or the woman, man or woman, okay? The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's what this place is, America. The valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, everybody here is dead from the damn neck up, man. Okay, besides the elect, the elect have that light, that oil, the truth, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? You see? But everybody else is dry, the dry bones, man. You see, no light in them. You see? You see? So going back to Genesis, uh, verse 3, but it, of the fruit of the tree, Genesis 3 and 3, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent, okay, said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. That's why we call you a devil. You're a deceiver. You're a liar. Okay? And the serpent said unto the, unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For Yahweh doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, all right, the day you listen and follow and take part, you know, you know, 
and give in, you see? Like, for example, let's fast forward it to, to today, okay? You give in to this man's way, you know, his society, his image, his system, you know? You, 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 you start going to school and, you be, you know, you're taking out student loans and shit, you know, go, I'm going to go become a doctor, I'm going to go become a lawyer and trust in this man's system. You shave, become clean shaven and you put on this, you know, you just trim, you keeping it, you know, keeping this man's customs and shit, you, you know, you know, which is no different, no new thing under the sun. Prime example, Cornelius. You had, you had shown me that Cornelius was an Israelite. You had Israelites that wanted to um, rise in these different empires, man. Okay, we are the salt of the earth, and, and and like I said, ambitious that ambition, you know, that's what that's what Eve Eve she got ambitious man, she wanted to succeed she wanted to be powerful you know. Having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed, you see, and that's Jake right now, but this is not our rest man, this is not our rest man, anyway, um. Back in Genesis 3 and 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For Yahweh, have, Yahweh doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. Notice the baby G, you know, knowing good and evil. You see? And the, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, the lust, she gave into the lust of the flesh. You see? You see, and that's that's this this society. It's a capitalistic, um, pleasure-filled world, man. You know, you know, no morals. If it looks good, eat it. If it feels good, do it. You know, no cares for 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 the consequences of your actions. Yolo, you only live once, which is all goes back to witchcraft. Alistair Crawley, do as thou will. You see, you see, you see. Which go all go back to Esau, Edom, the damn devil the Bible speaks of. You see? It says, And the woman, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and you see that now with your with, your, with these gods that Esau Edom set up, the, your idols. You you, you see uh, somebody from your neighborhood, from your hood, make it, become a become a millionaire and all this shit. And and, and what do they do? A lot of time they live in a fake life. They live in a facade. They live in a you know, they really catching hell. More money, more problems, like Biggie says, right? But they, 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 they flaunt their, they, what you perceive as wealth, which ain't really wealth. They, their jewelry and their cars and the women. But you don't see the other side of it. You see? You see? You see? You see? It says, and the woman, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was pleasant to the eyes, and that's Jake. That's why they want to be a rapper. That's why they want to play ball. They want to play football. But they don't see the other side of it. They don't see that nobody escapes. The curses eventually always overtake you. Okay? Now, see? At, at the end of the day, Esau Edom is a renigger, man. And he's going to renig on that contract. That, that, that covenant with death is going to be disannulled. You see? And a tree to be desired to make one wise, you know? They're wise in their own mind, their own deceit, you know? You know, it says she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband and her husband. He did eat. You see, you see, and that's that's the point. That's the point. But um, but that's that go. That's Jake. They, they, they ambitious. That's their ambition. They want to succeed. They want to, you know, ambitious, having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed. That's what that woman that that's what she was. She she was drunk on that Babylon juice. That feminism and I, you know, you, you see what I'm saying. That's why they not they never satisfied. They're never satisfied. Just like they're of their father, the devil, you know. That's Esau, Edom. He, he he's um never satisfied. His desire is his hell, right? Heapeth on him all nations, you know. And that's the same spirit that's on these two thirds, man. Not just the women, the men also. You see, you see. It says a uh, it says a plan or piece of work. Intended to satisfy high aspirations, they got dreams of making it, you know, that 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 deluxe apartment in the sky, you know, and therefore difficult to achieve, and it's it's hard, man, and that, that's what they sell their souls, man. They give they give it all, they give they they you know they give it their all, you know, for that in, incorruptible crown, 
You see? You see? You see? But they don't know. They don't know. They don't know the scriptures. They don't understand how much of was shot. You see? Because if they did, they would know it says in Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. We wasn't brought here to make it, man. We were brought here to, to uh, consider, to, you know? That's why these curses and, uh, are upon us, as for a sign and a wonder, you see? Why are we in the predicament that we're in? And to repent and turn back to our power, because he's the only one that's going to get us out of this. As it says, no man shall save thee by you, you know? So it says, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted. America, this whole place, this whole earth is polluted. The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because what he transgressed the laws. You see? You see? You see? So he gonna have to, Esau going to have to pay. He gonna he gonna have his you know his tab is his sins is reached up to the heavens, but you right you you right there with him, you you confederate with him just like these heathen nations. You with it? You okay with it? You know how do we know you okay with it? Cause you in this man's society, you see, you taking his jabs, you gonna take his his karagma, you know, you know, and then you gonna ultimately get Revelation fourteen and nine, you see. So it says, Arise ye and depart, arise ye, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And this is talking about spiritually, man, you know, because we know we're still in this world. It says, Using the world, not abusing it, right? It says, Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Because everything about this world is um, contrary to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You see, everything about this place, you see, you see. But the rest, like I said, that's not the rest. The rest is this, this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know? You know? This thing of ours, Isaiah 28, straight to the point. Because uh, like I said, it's getting kind of long. I don't want to make it too long. Isaiah 28 and um, 28 and I think 12. Um, I'll read the whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. That's about how you go. That's how you understand the scriptures. You go here a little, there a little. Like, um... Like a vocab Malone says Hebrew hopscotch. That's how you go. That's how you understand the scripture, precept upon precept, right? And you got to be taught, you know, you know, starting with our elder, elder, elder apostles, elder apostles to her on down. Right, that's our teachers, the elders, you know, that do rule well, you know, you know, and all the men underneath sign and crying, teaching the same sound doctrine, no leaven, right? You know, this is the rest, you see. This is verse 11, uh, Isaiah 28. And 11 for precept it says uh for with isaiah 28 and 11 for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people to whom he said this is the rest this is the rest okay this is the comforters the scriptures you know and it's really a howasha he comes in the volume of the book and he will sup with you the rakakwa dots you will understand you understand so it says to whom he said this is the rest Wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, because we're all tired, man. We're all tired, and that's the thing. That's why Jake is ambitious. Like he said, we came from nothing. Chattel slavery, you see? You know? And we just want a slice of the pie, man. We just, you know? But this ain't our rest. This ain't it, man. This ain't heaven. You know? You know? We got to fight. We got to push. We got to give diligence to make our calling and election sure. We got to fight, man. We got to fight for that crown, you know? And, and fight to bring our body into subjection. You know, and the spirit is willing, but the flesh is not. It's a constant war, you know, constant battle, you know. But you rest through the scriptures. You get comfort, you know. You get comfort, you know. It says, to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing. We refresh our mind over and over We because our minds are filthy, you know, with the, with the, with the ways of this world, you know. And that, to be, for example, be ambitious, be ambitious, you know, you know, which is wicked, man, you know, this is not our rest, man, you know, it says, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear, yeah, they don't, they don't want to hear, they, they fan their hand at it, they scoff at it, you know, you know, but this is the rest, man, this is how you clean and get right, you know, Psalms 119 and 9, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Because we're all we all were pieces of shit. We all you know we're filthy, you know, going off, you know, bugged out, you know, 
you know, but through precept upon precept, line upon line, and then bringing your body, get, you know, um, adhering to it, bringing your body into subjection, bringing your mind into subjection, being obedient, you know, you know, it says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Where is his word found within these scriptures, these laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, you know? Um, I had some more. Let me see. I had another. Let me see. I had something else. I had this too. Let me see. Um, I think I think I pretty much hit the point. Um, what else did I have? Baruch three. Let me see. Salakia. Okay, con, 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 definitely. Uh, Baruch, th Baruch 3 and 8. It says, uh, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Again, this is not our rest. You know, Jake Jake is ambitious and they, they, they desire to, to, to make it here, man. They have a strong determination to succeed here. Going back to the garden, man. You know, you were doubt, you were begot, you were, you were deceived, man. You were tricked. You're not, you weren't brought here to make it. This is not our rest. You were brought here to repent. You are brought here to, to seek the Lord while he may be found. Okay? You know? You know? Um, Baruch, Baruch uh, 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right now. Right now. We are, and that's, and that's wherever we're at, man. We're being oppressed. Okay? You know? But chiefly here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. How do we get here? Like uh, Kevin Samuel said, uh, chattel slavery through the transatlantic slave trade, man. You know, well you had you had uh, some of the the the, uh, the northern kingdom was here already. You know, but the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know, cargo slave ships, man. You know, it says, "Behold, we are yet this day in captivity." You know, who who who's ruling over us? Esau, Edom, our oppressor, our you know our chief adversary. You know, and he's trying to cut us off. That the name of Yasharala, the name of Israel, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai be in remembrance no more. He's trying to cut off the damn God gene, you see, and put his digital ool in you, you see, you know. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in, in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. And remember, we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth, you know, you know, for a reproach and a curse, you know, the curses, they overtake us, man. We're the filth, we're the bottom, you know. We're a proverb and a byword, you know. You know, the nations, they clap their hand, they hiss at us, you know. And to be subject to payments, you know. Them debts, them debts, that thick clay, I bought you, you know. That usury, you know, you know, you know. And to be subject to payments, yeah, that's a part of the curses. The sub, you know, he, we, he was going to be the head, we were going to be the tail. We are going to go to our enemies in want of all things, man. You can't escape it. There's no escaping it, man. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. You see, that's the reason we're in this predicament. So you got to turn back and repent, man. You got to turn back and repent. But Jake, 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 this, this the sentiment of Jake. Jake, you know, Jake, hey, throw the middle finger up at the Lord, you know, look at um, Boosie Badass, cursing the Lord, you know, you know, they hate the Lord, man, they hate the Lord, this is, uh, I'm gonna close out here, um, Malachi, but the, the point, like I said, you get the point, you get the point, we're not to be ambitious here, man, but this is a spirit that's, that's no new, no new thing, man, Jake always aspired to, to, to rise in this, in these different empires, man, you know, you know, but hey, this is the last empire and it's about to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. You know, you know, this ain't it, man. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, Jack. OK, um, where was I at? Uh, what was I reading? It's Malachi. Um, close out here. Malachi um, one and one. Malachi one and one. The burden of the word of the Lord Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. 
I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Yeah, why are we at the bottom? Why are we in the barrios, the hoods, the ghettos, you know? You know, the slums, you know? You know? You know? I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob? Yeah, he put by Esau, you know? We are the lot, we are the apple of the Lord's eye. We are the lot of his inheritance. Jacob, you tribes, man, you know? It says, I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet ye saying, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, Shai, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. So that's how much the Lord loves us, man. You know? You know? But guess what? Jake don't get it. Jake don't get it. And it says, And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord Yahweh will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honoreth his father. This, this is what I wanted. A son honoreth his father, a servant his master. If I then be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Save, save the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, but you shy unto you, O priest that despise my name, and ye say, wherein have I have we despised thy name? You see? And that's the point. The Lord, the Lord, where's his honor? You know, you you you, you giving your honor to East, to to another. You see? You see? You get you see what I'm trying to say? The Lord loves us, you know? So much so that he put the basis of men over us to chastise us, man. You know, and at the end of the day, he's going to redeem us. And Obadiah 118, you know, our enemy, <laughs> the one that put the most hell on us, you know? You see, that's how much the Lord loves us to, <laughs> to you know, it, it, it sound, it's kind of crazy, but, you, you know, he, he, he put hell on you to show you how much he loves you. He, you know, he, put, he put you in the fire to pull you out, you see? He's putting you through the fire to pull you out, you know? So you can learn and appreciate it. You see? You see? You see? You know? Because Jake just don't get it. You know? Anyway, I don't want to write this out. That made sense and it came together. I was probably all over the place. Um, Salakia. <laughs> but like I said, the point, of, the point of the matter is this this ambitious spirit, this ain't it, man. Okay? This is not our rest. Okay? This place going to destroy you. Anyway, keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa. Abad. Babal.